the center. And in this position, I had great many opportunities to work with my colleagues, uh, um, especially uh, Professor Jim Heckman, uh, who has made the center a uh, very nice place for the kind of research and uh, um, field work in many ways uh, in terms of the Chinese economy. But really, in terms of the University of Chicago Center, we do a lot of work. We support our students who come to study in China. We have more than 50 students doing, field, uh, doing internships this summer. We also have um, conferences and workshops across the disciplines with uh, uh, our peers in China, uh, from condensed matter physics to uh, economics to public policy. And of course, uh, uh, during the reception, you probably see, uh, saw those uh, portraits of coal miners. In fact, uh, uh, you, you may have noticed, actually, that each of the portraits is the size of a mall portrait. Uh, uh, in fact, so we actually have artistic engagement aspect of the center as well. So uh, having said that, I just want to really welcome you all to the center to explore the exchange. And now I want to turn to Professor Jim Heckman and Stephen Dillon. Thank you uh, for bringing this great event to the center. So thank you, Dali, and it's, I welcome everybody uh, to the conference today and try to talk a little bit about the initiative here, and uh, I don't want to be long-winded, and we really want to get to the conference, which is on income inequality, or income inequality in China, not just income inequality. But I do want to talk a little bit, and you all have had a chance, I think, to get a copy of this brochure uh, about the Human Capital uh, and Economic Opportunity Working Group. And this conference, and then the summer school that follows the conference, is part of this initiative. So this initiative is at the University of Chicago, and it's also based more broadly in the, uh, uh, in the around uh, several institutions uh, around the world in, in part of a larger program called INET. But the Human Capital and Economic Opportunity Working Group is quite uh, independent and uh, important. So I think if you have a chance, if you have this brochure, you might open it. And I would just briefly go over the different working groups that are part of this larger study of the question of inequality. And various uh, aspects, each of these groups themselves are, uh, are actually integrating with people, scholars in China, so that it's not just this group, this particular group of people meeting today in measurement and uh, interpretation and policy, although it's largely this group, but there are other groups as well. For example, Xiong Moon, and we're Xiong Moon. Oh, right there, okay, is a, is a, is a leader. So let me just, Talk briefly. So the Early Childhood Interventions Group is led by Xiong Moon uh, and uh, and uh, myself, Amy Claysons, and uh, Mary Young. And Mary Young is here, actually, in the China Development Research Fund. Oh, Mary's there. I didn't realize she was here. Okay, well, bad, <laughs> bad host. Okay. So this is a group that's actually looking at the origins of inequality and looking at uh, the early origins of inequality. And we're going to hear more about that, actually, from Scott Rosell uh, in the new course. So that's one network. It's a very active network. Each of these networks is actually holding conferences, many conferences each year. And people are welcome. It's a very inclusive notion. We have conferences not just in the United States. Obviously, this is a conference in China. but conferences in Europe and also um, uh, many conferences uh, that could be potentially held in China and, and in Latin America and, and in America. So, so the Early Childhood Intervention Group is one group. A second group is the Family Inequality Group. Looking at uh, family economics, which is a vital enterprise, we actually have another initiative. I don't want to talk much about that. It's also at the University of Chicago, and it's joint with the INET group for studying the East Asian family, or the Asian family in particular. Uh, that group is cooperating with the family inequality group in the HCEO. And the idea there is to really understand the rapid change in the Asian family, uh, the, the implications for social policy, but there's a slightly different touch. The, all these themes are carefully interwoven, so there's no exclusivity. It's not as if these are one silo versus another and another. But nonetheless, they do look at different aspects of inequality. Then, of course, health is important. And again, Scott Rosell will talk about health. And of course, health is an early, is a crucial component of early childhood, and the determination of early childhood conditions affect adult health. There's a lot of interweaving of themes. But nonetheless, there are separate themes. And uh, people like Chu, 
Hong Su from uh, Singapore, who's done a lot of work actually on epigenetics and work on gene expression and integrating that into economics. And that has big implications also for health and again for earnings and for other components as well. And we also have another network called Identity of Personality, and that's bringing together economists, and Chu is also a member of this network, I believe, but it's, we're bringing together economists, psychologists, decision theorists in particular, trying to under, integrate uh, 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 preferences and to understand exactly how preferences are expressed. And so again, this brings together a different group of people, but of course cooperates with the other group. And of course, the meeting today is really technically sponsored. Steve can correct me. Oh, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking around. I'm waiting for the occasion. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. Sorry. But I mean, but this particular conference is sponsored, right, by the by the inequality measurement interpretation, right? But many of the speakers are associated. In particular, I think we should, we should have some of the organizers uh, speak. Well, Steve here is, is the main organizer of this. We're, we're together co-organizers of this whole network. But also Scott Cummins. Scott, did you, ah, there you are. And he will be lecturing in the summer school, of course. Then we have another group on markets, which is integrating human capital markets uh, with physical capital markets and understanding the relationship between uh, uh, financial uh, uh, resources, uh, credit constraints, and how human capital gets accumulated. And, and there are some interesting questions in and of themselves about market functioning and market dysfunctioning, and that's an active group. And actually, around this time, they're meeting in Capri, right, in Italy. So uh, uh, again, these workshops meet, and they're not uh, exclusive. So that's the background of the Human Capital and Economic Inequality Network, and I think. Now, Steve, you want to talk about the, the details of the conference and the summer school. Well, we really welcome you here in the spirit of the University of Chicago. Oh, CCER? Of course. I mean, they're a co-sponsor. No. But of the summer school. So he's going to mention. Don't worry. We're not going to. Oh, the conference. Sorry. I'm very poor. <laughs> but in the spirit of the University of Chicago, though, we want to have this in open forum. So people shouldn't, it's not a question of interrupting, it's a question of speaking freely, speaking your mind. Uh, we'll have moderators to choke off people who are too verbose. Uh, but I think we're, we're, we'll actually uh, be able to have a, a freely formal discussion. So, uh, Steve, why don't you take over? Okay, well, uh, first of all, thank you all for attending. Uh, what I wanted to do was to focus a bit on the uh, commitment HCO has made to studying inequality in China. Uh, this conference, in many ways, is a capstone for uh, what we hope will be deeper and uh, continuing uh, relationships with Chinese academia and to allow, uh, allow folks like me uh, to learn more about China and reorient our research towards, uh, towards the Chinese context. The conference itself uh, will produce a book from the papers and the discussions, which uh, we hope will represent a state-of-the-art simple we expect will represent a state-of-the-art synthesis on understanding Chinese inequality, and I should mention that Jim and I have uh, signed a contract with Oxford University Press to uh, to be general editors of a series on 21st century inequality, and we want this to be the inaugural volume because of the uh, reports we attach to it. Uh, so that's one dimension. The second dimension, where uh, we, uh, we we are hoping for, in this case, literally annual interactions is that in addition to being this capstone conference and the, uh, the presentation of the first drafts of papers and discussions that will eventually uh, be the uh, components of this, uh, uh, let say, handbook of uh, inequality in China, it's also the first day of the uh, first, and as I said, I hope, uh, first annual uh, CCR, HCEO, uh, Beijing Summer School on Socioeconomic Inequality, which uh, Yao Hijiao and I have organized. And so the purpose of this uh, summer school is to provide state-of-the-art uh, lectures that for the graduate students and uh, young assistant professors on inequality in China. And so I emphasize that, that this is a summer school that is about China. And so we have, uh, amongst the 10 speakers, four experts who are very specifically do research on China, which Yao He would, Yao he would be one, Scott Rosell, Albert Park, and uh, Jia Yuan Dong. So each of those lectures will focus the, uh, 
uh, the lecture uh, focus the students and the uh, junior faculty on issues and the facts and the current understanding of different aspects of inequality in China. So on the, uh, the other end of the spectrum, is, uh, there's some methodologists that will be lecturing. And so uh, Larry Bloom, Scott Commoners, and myself will, will give uh, lectures that uh, I was going to say are mercifully data free, but they'll be more on, uh, on issues of technique and how one would answer these questions. Yet there'll be another dimension in which we will have uh, state-of-the-art uh, econometric methodologies of different types, which will be Chao Fu, we'll talk about structural models, and Petra Todd will talk on uh, uh, program evaluation. And then I left uh, one other uh, lecture out, because he's all of the above, that's Jim Heckman. And so Jim will be lecturing on uh, uh, both the economics and the econometrics of, of human development, and it will represent the integration of the uh, of the uh, aspects that I refer to in terms of my, my division of the lectures. So uh, we very much regard the summer school not just as a teaching experience, but it's as a, again, a, a, a mechanism for creating collaboration. And so, uh, you know, if you want to look at the, uh, you know, think of the lectures, the, the one, one division that's close to half half would be China based versus Western based, another division which is close to half and half is. China inequality versus other aspects of inequality. And so uh, I, I regard this, uh, this as a chance to go back to graduate school personally. So uh, uh, the upshot really is just to say that uh, Jim and I, HCEO, we're, we're deeply committed to the study of inequality in China. And uh, we're very grateful for the opportunity to, uh, to interact and go with